Hey guys, Andrew here. NaNoWriMo tips. It is National Novel Writing Month, day seven. And as you'd have guessed by now, the first week has been all about word count and having quantity over quality. And then in weeks two and three, move into like the nuances of telling a great story. So it's day seven, I'm gonna get ahead. And we'll start off with a quote by American, well, multi-award winning author, William Kent Kruger. As a writer, you're always looking for conflict conflict is what drives a great story all right so what you want to be doing of course is weaving in the conflict into your story right and there's plenty of different ways to do it there's weak ways there's strong ways so when you think about it you've got your hero you've got your villain and there'll be conflict between the two of them right now the way it works is you want to do it in a number of five if it happens once it's just one of those things twice it's a coincidence three times it's a pattern four times it's a problem when it happens five times it really needs like squashed all right so the way you want to be doing it is this you have done is like five five chapters all right like so those are in red okay so you've got chapters you know one two three four five I know you can count all right so you have like your five instances so a matter of conflict here second matter of conflict a third a fourth and a fifth all right so you write out those five chapters then what you do is you'll see here there's like two green dots those are two other chapters so in the lead up to two conflict one you want to have two chapters here chapter one chapter two which are like nice and easy kind of thing and then a main conflict at point number one what you then want to do is repeat that so you have two chapters leading up to your first conflict two chapters leading up to your second up to your third up to your fourth and up to your fifth and you might be wondering to yourself like why are these two chapters down here leading upwards right and what happens is like stories are all about like increasing intensity of emotion through time and if you have this thing where it's like you have like five periods of conflict in your story if they're all next to each other and of all the same level it becomes a very boring story believe it or not this is why you want to have two small chapters leading up to your first point of conflict and again for each point of conflict so that your story reads like this that red line there is the intensity of emotion leading up to the first one then there's a drop intensity up to the second one then a drop up to the third drop up to the fourth drop then up to the fifth this is of course through time five chapters of conflict which are woven in properly into your story so that it makes for a great read so i really hope that helps for today uh, i wrote let me think i wrote 1500 words yesterday just 100 short of the, of the daily word count and then today i'm going to crack out 3000 well that's the target anyway so i'll see how that goes and i'll keep you updated thanks very much good luck Hey guys, thank you for watching. Hit subscribe to stay in touch for more nano writing tips. And if you have any creative writing headaches, just drop me a line in the comments box below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Good luck.